Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Diane Daniels. Fighting Irish fans got a huge scare tonight when Virginia threatened to hand Notre Dame its first defeat of the season. Indeed, they'll able to pull out the victory, but the biggest news of that game is the ankle injury to Malik Zaire. And WSBT 22's Carl Deffenbaugh joins us now with more on a very costly win tonight for the Irish. Yeah, Diane, second week in a row now we're discussing an Irish victory, but also a gutting loss at the same time. And this one could really threaten the complexion of the entire yeah season going forward. Notre Dame did pull off a shocking victory at Virginia today, but lost its starting quarterback, Malik Zaire. In we can run our offense through Deshaun, and he's got great weapons around him, and we saw that tonight. Um, he's got a run, running back, and he's, he's got receivers, and we're just going to have to balance the offense and uh, do the things that he's capable of doing. Teams have to overcome injuries. It's, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is, and, and we'll find a way to, um, you know, put it together so we can win football games with Deshaun Kaiser as our starting quarterback. Now, Brian Kelly has praised the depth of this team throughout the preseason, mm -hmm. saying it's actually his deepest team he's had in six years here. But going into the season, you probably would have said the thinnest position groups were running back and quarterback. They lose Tari and Folston to an ACL in game one, and now Malik Zaire goes down in game two. Just brutal. Yeah, that's for sure. Those 124 receiving yards, a couple of touchdowns as well. His speed is just unstoppable. Procise, a huge game in his first start at running back, and the Irish somehow won despite going 0 for 10 on third downs. But after the celebration, Brian Kelly delivered the gutting news on his starting quarterback. He has a fractured uh, ankle, and uh, he'll be out for the season. Coach Kelly always talks about next man in. So uh, since day one, um, which started way back in, in June, I've been, pre been preparing as if I was going to be the guy. Uh, I try to compete my, my butt off against Malik all camp, and now i got to look at the guys, some of these seniors in the eye, and let them know that you know I'm the guy. You know, they lost a kid that they feel really strongly about, um, you know, in the locker room. Um, they'll bounce back from it. Kids are resilient. You know, the coaches are probably, uh, you know, feeling it more. Um, I am particular because I'm so close to him. I feel so bad for him. Um, but we'll bounce back from it. And, um, you know, Deshaun now has got to run our, our, our football team. And, and we feel good about it. Just brutal. Two wins for the Irish, but they lose a vital player in each of them. Tarian Folston last week, and now their main man, Malik Zaire. So it will be Deshaun Kaiser's team when the Irish return to South Bend for their next game. That's a week away against their first ranked opponent of the year, Georgia Tech. So how about that Ram 